Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing the different options we have on this BMW X2. One of my friends was nice enough to loan me this car um, to make a video. Um, all the features I don't want to code yet, but I actually want to see what the features are um, and what options exist on this um, F39, F38, uh, X2, um, XDrive 28i. So let me go ahead and get started. Let me do a screen share on my phone so I'll put it on the video as well. And then you guys can see it. Um, so let's get connected. So BMW X2, so it's F39, I stand corrected. F39 uh, BMW X2, so let's connect. I know this one has comfort closing um, has heads up display, it doesn't have LED headlights. So some of the features might not exist in here. So we'll see what, which ones come up, which ones don't. Um, I'm just going through the Beamer app right now and trying to connect. Uh, don't worry. Um, I will also put this screen uh, on the video right next to, it's going to take some time. Um, as usual, um, I'm using a V gate essentially right here. Uh, plug it in the usual spot uh, by the footrest on the left hand side on the driver's side um, Connect to the VGate Wi-Fi and at the same time if you are paranoid or annoyed You can put your phone in the airplane mode and then turn Wi-Fi on to connect to your VGate or if you're using a Bluetooth or the new OBD link adapters So it has loaded up uh, electronic control units. All I see is advanced crash safety module air conditioning a BDC which is your bo uh, body domain controller head unit instrument cluster, uh, power tailgate module, roof function, seat module, and then top rear side view cameras is grayed out. That's because I do not see uh, surround view cameras on here. So let's get started with first advanced, uh, advanced crash safety module. Let's see what's in there. Um, I know this one does not have driver assistant plus, so I don't think it will have anything to read in here, but we'll see what it loads up. Um, it's going to go through the reading data. And again, uh, while this is loading up, um, anytime you are coding your car, uh, you might see a video where it says what your car has. All the options that will exist on the Beamer Code app, whether it's an um, iPhone app or an Android app, it will always be uh, depending on what you have on the car all the options and everything else that exists on the car um, so don't be alarmed that if you don't see something like for example I have coded um, 2013 528i I've coded 2014 x5 2015 x5 and 2016 and 2015 uh, 535i all across those models uh, trim levels there's different options for each car and Beamer Code is smart enough to tell you which options go with which car and which car, which options don't go with the car. Um, so once this loads up, we'll see what shows up in advanced crash safety. Um, it's taking super slow. It's going taking super long. You will see. Um, it's only at about um, seventy-five percent. Uh, bear with me. there okay so in the advanced crash safety what I see is seatbelt reminder yes you can set it but like I've always said leave the seatbelt reminder on for yourself it's your safety safety first um, there's initial seatbelt reminder seatbelt active speed limits um, passenger side and then reminder distance. Um, so as I mentioned, I am not changing anything right now. I'm just going through and reviewing what options exist for this X2. Um, so I will leave it on. Let's go to the next module, uh, air conditioning. Um, that's fine. I don't want to check anything. What I do want to see actually is uh, BDC. BDC is in your left stock, the body controller or body domain controller. So let's go in there. Uh, this might take some time too it takes slow one thing I've noticed about Beamer code is yes there are a lot more options um, 
but the reading data happens to be slow with this v-gate i don't know if it's actually the v-gate or if actually also has to do with uh i'm using a v-gate icar wi-fi adapter because i know the new ones the obd link adapters are much faster um what i've heard from people and what i've seen on the videos so but i still have to test any of the new obd link obd link adapters that are listed on the beamer code um, supported devices as this takes time um, anytime if you guys have any questions comments concern uh, feel free to mention down in the comment video below um, in the comment section uh, regarding any 3 series 5 series x5 uh, 7 series 6 series so forth um, because from F to all the way up to G, uh, Beamer code will work. Um, I know people have asked questions about E series, but you're not able to code um, E series with the Beamer code app at the moment. Um, I, I'm not sure if there's a restriction from BMW for their ECUs, how they're set up, versus the Beamer code app. I believe it's a restriction from the, the manufacturer. So this is almost done. It's at about 90%. So let this load up. Okay, so in the BDC, um, I see ambient lighting. Ambient lighting is all the lighting that you see inside here or underneath the front dash um, on the doors. Angel eyes, brightness, low beam set to 100%. Shut off eye drive when the driver opens the driver door. Yeah, you can do that. Currently, it's active. Um, what I noticed on this car actually is um, the auto start stop function, which is in 2014 and newer, you can actually turn it off um, and leave it off on every single startup. Um, it's not set. If you wanted to, you could use the Beamer Code app to do that, and you can also use it to. Um, to remember the functionality too. Brake force display activation speed is set to five kilometers per hour. Um, not sure um, if that would even kick in, but it's if you converted that to miles, uh, divide that by 1.6, so you're about looking at two, 2.8, something like that. Uh, comfort opening, uh, closing is set to active. Comfort opening with remote control is active too. Comfort key closing thing. Uh, daytime running lights rare. Yes, they look nice to have your rear lights turn on with your front daytime running lights, but I don't recommend it. I know they're LED, but you're just wearing it out faster. If you don't want to do it, do it, try it, and then disable it again. One of my videos, I did put it on for my friend for 535 uh, XI, ended up taking it off. Um, it's a simple uh, coding feature. Um, unlock doors automatically, horn signal on the lock when the engine is the car is running, driver mode, remember, memory, start engine without clutch. Do not try that. Uh, leave it to brake, uh, to press the brake and press the start button. And then there's a bunch of headlight cleaning functions, lighting, fog lights with high beam. Yes, I've done that on many cars. Uh, very nice feature to have. And then also door handle lights, reverse gear. So one of the nice thing is there are all four door handles, uh, some of the BMWs have lighting. So when you open the door, their pathway lighting or um, welcome lighting, they can also turn on when you turn the reverse. And that's a really nice feature to code. Um, unfold mirrors with comfort opening or with the remote. You can do that. I have not done it. The reason I don't do that is because, again, it's mechanical. The more closing opening you do, things will break over time. So I've left the feature off. Uh, then there's a bunch of um, seat heating, basically from the top and the bottom. Um, the temperature they're set to, you can do that tailgate um, if you want to open. And then basically, then there are a bunch of other lighting uh, temperature monitors and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and head unit. This may take some time too. As I mentioned, this car does have um, heads-up display HUD, so we'll see what other options show up for it because um, in the iDrive, I was looking for it right now, I couldn't find it, I'm gonna look for it after the video. 
Um, because I see vehicle settings. Uh, okay, so this loaded up and in the head unit, um, you can see the warning chime BMW, which is standard. You can change it to your phone if you wanna set it up to or a different one for your BMW ring, for a ringtone, sorry, my apologies. Uh, daytime running lights. Um, obviously, those are also set up in your iDrive. Um, if they're not, you can enable it from here so they can show up in your iDrive. Your start animation is set to connected drive if I wanted to. Uh, you can change it to Alpina, BMW 1, 2, i, Christmas, connected drive 1, M, Mini, and Rolls Royce. Um, start animation and then volume. Tire pressure control, obviously, just set to display pressure only, but you can set it to temperature and stuff. Um, display full text messages, which is very nice. You can have even on the F15s and F10s, as far as 2013, you can have a display if you have the Bluetooth um, hookup in your car. Um, sport displays, um, those are set, they're orange, video and USB. So what you can do is you can code the video, uh, the USB drive that's in here, the or USB port that's in here to play videos off of a USB. Again, if you're gonna do it, be responsible, do not do while driving, just not safe. Um, camera warning, camera zoom in, um, and so forth. Uh, let's go back to instrument cluster. Yeah, this definitely does not seem to, I know this is X2, but does not have the extended dash. Um, this is loading up just one second, guys. Okay, so in here, uh, you can set to M Performance logo on the startup, M Performance logo variant. Let's see, active, it's not active. What about the logo variant? Okay, it's not assigned. You can set to X2 M40i. Um, and then fuel consumption, which if you use the stock on the driver side, the BC, you can cycle through. Um, it should tell you exactly uh, what options exist in here um, So right now I see temperature and I see miles to empty uh, miles per gallon miles per hour speed limit and The date and the temperature is okay. Yeah um, And then digital speed it tells me it's already active uh, which is right because I saw that already turned on average value reset and then low fuel warning and low fuel warning too. So not much options in um, instrument cluster. Power tailgate, I'm pretty sure that's to open and close your tailgate from the driver door and from the key fob. Uh, and I know you can code it both ways to open it and then you can also do it with your key fob. Um, so let this get loaded up. Again, once you, when you wanted to go faster, it's actually going slower today, so we'll bear with it. Uh, give a couple minutes. I'm at 44%. Um, I didn't think there were that many options in the power tailgate, but we'll see what exists. What I do like about the new ones, and I believe this, this is iDrive 6, um, it's much more refined uh, and it's much more clear. And then obviously it's a tile menu, which I think you can also do it um, with ENET coding if you have iDrive 5 to look, make it look like iDrive 6. Um, there are a bunch of online vendors who also do it. Uh, you can pay for that coding and they'll do it, but you cannot do the coding to change your iDrive 5 look up to iDrive 6, the tile menu, um, using the Beamer Code app. Um, so this has loaded up uh, power tailgate module tailgate function when pushing the button the driver door set to open Yes, tailgate function when button um, Pulling the button down is closed Close tailgate button with the driver door with a long press. It's not set up um, Tailgate function with the remote is set and then close tailgate with a remote long function is set as well So that's odd because I remember the 2x5s I've coded with the remote it would open but it would not close and it had to be coded so that's nice that actually BMW has done it out of the box for this one. 
uh, seat module I'm not gonna go through, uh, but essentially what I'll do is I'll put this screen share on the video as well so you guys can see it. Um, I did not code any features today. I just wanted to see what this X2 has before I started looking into coding. Um, hope this helps you guys. And yeah, the X2 uh, buyers or owners out there, if there are any questions, put in the video down below. As usual, uh, as always, thank you and we'll see you soon.